Okay, for this disarm, which is called abanico snake disarm, we're going to have to block, point up, to redirect in order to hit and to use our snake disarm. From this position, I have two choices. I can use my hand to snake and hit at the same time, or same configuration, I can use my stick here to snake. What we're going to do to make it more simple, every time Lila is going to attack me on my left, I'm going to use my hand to snake. Every time she's going to attack me on my right, I'm going to use my stick. But understand that you can do both and you can practice both on every, every single angle. So first attack here, one and hit. Okay. From here my hand is going in and I'm doing my snake. The tricky part is, it's easy to snake, disarm and then counter. Anybody can do it. What I want you to do, once you have mastered the movement, is to be able to snake and attack at the same time. It requires a little bit of coordination and the double sticks program that we taught you before will help you to achieve that. Look again, very slow motion. One. Two, and as I disarm, I'm already hitting. I make sure I don't get hit by the guy's stick, or the lady's stick in this case, and I'm attacking, I'm attacking at the same time. Okay? Look again, because this is important. One, two, when I'm here, I'm already hitting the face, or the throat, throat, arm, disarm, arm again, knee, face. Okay, so you have to be precise, flowering, flowering around is not enough, but you have to be able to do one move with your left, which is the snake move, and hit at the same time and be precise and accurate with the right hand. Okay, now let's do it the way it's supposed to be done. One, two, hit and disarm at the same time. Okay, angle two, here. I have a little rule for back fist angle. Angle two, and angle four, for example. The angle two is a high line, so my fingers, except the thumb, will be up. Number four is a low line, so my fingers will be down. High line, fingers up, low line, fingers down. Sometimes you will see me or some of our instructors doing the opposite, because you have to adapt to the height of your opponent. So there are some exceptions. If your opponent is much taller than you, you'll be point up all the time, fingers up all the time. So it depends. But as a general rule, when you block on the high line, your fingers are up when you control the elbow. When you block on the low line and controlling the elbow, your fingers will be down. Okay? So back to angle two, I'll be here, abanico. And this time I will snake with my stick, just to show you something a little different. Okay, one more time, two. Block, abanico right away, and snake. Here, disarm, and three counters as our basics. Look here, something that can happen here is that you are too close. And when you do your snake with a stick, you get stuck here, between the legs of your opponent. This should not stop you. You don't have time to go back and try again. The guy is going to punch you, he's going to grab you, take you down, anything he wants. So as soon as you feel that stuck here, you let go and you just disarm empty-handed and get the stick of your opponent. It's a, very it's a very easy move, but it's a difficult scenario because very few people will drop their own weapon without thinking about it. Okay? Nevertheless, it's something that you need to acquire. One, two, ah! I lost my stick, I'm going to use my hands. Okay? If everything's fine and you don't need to drop your stick, one, this is the motion you want to have. Okay? If I'm a little bit too close, here, ah! I drop my stick. Okay? Angle two again from another angle. Block, snake, grab the stick, and counter. Okay? Angle three will be here. I block and I snake. I get in in order to disarm and I hit at the same time. Okay? From another angle. Angle three, block and pass. Once I'm here, I get in, I attack already, and I keep going. Okay? Angle four, I block with my fingers down because it's a low line attack. Here is my abanico and I will go with my stick here, grabbing my partner's sticks and disarming. A little tip here, come over here Lila please, okay, I'm there. If we are too close like we saw before, my stick could get stuck and I have to let it go. If I'm at the perfect distance, I will end up wrist against wrist, 
this is completely fine and this is exactly what you should do. But sometime you'll be somewhere in the middle and your snake will be more with your inside elbow or even armpit here than your wrist. In this case, it's okay. You just have to attack your opponent's elbow with your palm here, pretty much like a Winchen Pak Sao, and the snake will be exactly the same. One, two, here, push. Okay, exactly the same thing. Now, if you can, it's better to be there, one, two, and just snake with your wrist. Here, you can grab the stick and just follow up. Angle five. I will parry here on the outside, okay? Look again, it's really from a natural position, stick down, absorbing the attack of my opponent. Don't push too much. If I'm here pushing, it's getting pretty hard to do my snake disarm. So it's really important to absorb your opponent. So the motion, if you look here at, the, uh, at my stick, the motion is more here, absorbing, than really pushing away, okay? One more time here on five, one, hit, and here is my disarm, okay? As you saw, this time I was a little close, so I had to do my, my pushing, my paxao per se. Okay, again, one, two, here. Okay, now if I'm a little bit more stepping back on the attack here, I will end up here, which is pretty much the same. Okay, angle six, I will use the outside again. Okay, as I parry away, I hit immediately and I come back here in control with my free hand. Look again, if I just push away, my partner will come back and hit me. So I have to absorb and control that arm, control that elbow using my abanico at the same time. From this motion, of course, here I am. Okay, one more time. Here, hit. Snake, and hit. Okay, now we're going to the very low lines. Lila will attack me with a seven. I go down. Here I'm gonna push and hit. I stay on the low line. I enter, disarm, hit, and eventually take down. Okay, oh, where's the stick? Here you go. Okay, slow motion again because the low lines are very difficult. I block and I redirect her. I stay very low. The only thing she can do from here is kick me. If she tries, it's very easy for me to block, hit, and eventually push down. Okay, again, low line, hit. If nothing happened, if your abanico was strong enough and it buys you some time, you just get in and keep going here. Okay, angle eight. Go down, same thing. It's a low line angle, so I'm gonna use my finger pointing down. From here, abanico, snake, and grab the stick. One more time, stay here, Lila, please stay here. Yeah, one more time, if I'm here and I'm a little bit too close, don't hesitate to drop your stick and continue the snake empty-handed. Okay. Angle nine, here, I step back and step in again. You remember, of course, from the beginner's program that on stabbing, we step backward. On slashing, we step into a triangle footwork here and here, okay? But every time there's a stab, five, nine, and 10, we step backward, of course, okay? So, back to nine, I will step backward, absorb her here, not pushing anything, and go back toward the direction of my partner's wrist here. From this position, I will control the elbow and abanico. Here, my snake is very logical and natural. One more time, here, nine, one and two, okay? You can snake here, or like every other angle, here you could use your free hand to go then. And final angle this time, angle 10, step backward and slide in again. Same principle as angle nine. From here, here is your disarm, here is your counter. Okay, one more time. She comes here, step away, get in and snake. <laughs>